Max and I have a little pedestal, which will be good, Max. We need that occasionally. We're not the tallest people in the group. But ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to this very special O'Brien Real Estate Auction. And the reason I say it's special, ladies and gentlemen, is that today is our first, and we're very proud that, to announce that we've opened our Oakley office, and this is our first day of auctions. Now we've sold our first property about half an hour ago, and hopefully today we're gonna get one of two things. We've got, we've got a lot of people that live in the area, and we're gonna get someone that we're gonna welcome into the area. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this magnificent property. And I'll tell you what, Somerset Avenue, the sun's really come out for us. It really identifies what the day is today. We're set for summer. We're only halfway there, but what a great day. And the street actually says it itself. So ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this magnificent auction. My name is Stavros Ambedzidis, and I'll be bidding his auctioneer this afternoon. Assisting me today, I have Tim O'Brien. In the middle, I have Matt. I have Angelina to my left. And my right-hand man that's on my left as well is Max Martinucci. And behind us here penciling is James. And they are here to assist you with your bidding or any questions you may have regarding the documentation. Now, ladies and gentlemen, location says it all here. We have funky cafes, eateries. We have a world-class golf course down the road. You have public transport. We're in the school zone. But most importantly, we're in the best part, I believe the best part of Oakley South. We're surrounded by clink and brick homes. We have a beautiful Californian bungalow behind me as well. But ladies and gentlemen, people try and buy into this zone and others cannot even get here. So today I'm giving you the opportunity, the once in a lifetime chance, and that's not just real estate speak in itself, but it is your once in a lifetime chance to secure your home. It could be an investment, you could raise the family, but you can see this home has been very, very well loved. I mean, I was talking to the vendor before, and imagine the most difficult thing that you've got to do when you're entertaining friends, is whether they want a lemon in the Corona or a lime. You know, you've got your olive tree behind you there. Now you could go up the street, and I said this before, and imagine the most difficult thing you've got to decide is whether you go to Vanilla or Nikos. If you're a little bit peckish, you know, do you go to Oryxy or do you go to Meet Me? You know, these are the conundrums that people that live in this area, that's what they have to deal with. And we call those first world problems, ladies and gentlemen. You know, that's what you've got to deal with if you're living in this location. It's a great location. You're not far from the city, but yet you can jump on the Monash and you can get down to the peninsula quite easily. We're, you know, we are at the gateway of many, many locations. So today, you're not just buying a location. You're buying, you're buying a very well-loved home. It's been looked after. It's been cared for. You can just see by the surroundings here today and just walking into the property itself. So ladies and gentlemen, when we're at the end, at the business end, remember these things that I've just told you. You know, you're buying a community and you're also buying an opportunity. So state your claim and let it be known. Don't hold back. Don't come back to me on Monday and say, Stavros, what else do you have for sale? We have nothing like this on the market. It's one of a kind. So ladies and gentlemen, I've introduced the team. You know who I am. And they're here to assist you with your bidding and the contracts. The contracts themselves have been prepared by the vendor solicitors. We use similar ones to these at all our auctions. And of course, these have been prepared by the vendor's legal representatives. But before I commence the auction, I just want to announce, I uh, must advise you of Solar Land Regulation 2014 Schedule 1, and that is that the auction will be conducted in accordance with the rules or any additional conditions that were made available for inspection before the start of the auction. The auction rules prohibit an auctioneer from accepting bids or offers for the property after the property has been knocked down to the successful bidder. The vendors have a reserve price, and as the auctioneer, I'll indicate bidders on request. The law prohibits false bids, it prohibits major disruption by bidders, and prohibits bidders attempting to prevent others from bidding, and it does provide fines for these conduct. The rules permit vendor bids. The words I'll be using during the auction to indicate I'm making a bid on behalf of the vendor are vendor bid. The, uh, by law, only I as the auctioneer may make a vendor bid. And in fact, our vendors today are offering this magnificent property being lot one on the plan 71-3382H and being the whole of the land contained in certificate and title volume number one, 419, folio 414, together with any improvements known to us and all your local councillors as number one slash 17 Somerset Avenue in Oakley South. Shortly, ladies and gentlemen, when the property is <coughs> sold, that's what it's going to sound like. It's music to my ears and also the vendors. We will need a 10% deposit. Settlement that we're acquiring here today is 60 or 90 days. No bidding yet, young man. 
<laughs> Another five minutes. We're nearly there. But ladies and gentlemen, before I call for your bids, in all seriousness, I do want to take this opportunity to thank these vendors for entrusting O'Brien Real Estate, for putting their hands and their trust in Max Martinucci and his team to promote the market and sell their property here today. They've done an excellent job inside, you'd all agree, and they've looked after the property meticulously. They've got it ready for you, for the next buyer, ready to move in. Nothing needs to be done. So thank you to the vendors. Now, ladies and gentlemen, a couple of ways you can bid. Raise your hand, call out your bid in a nice, clear voice. If you need assistance, Team O'Brien is here to help. But I do have one rule for those that haven't been to an auction before. I will call the property three times. Exactly. Raise your hand like that. First call, second call, third and final call. I will give everyone the opportunity. I won't sell the property too fast. There won't be any late bids. I'll make sure you're gone, out, down, done and dusted before I knock it down to the successful bidder. It's very simple. So ladies and gentlemen, who's going to start me off? Who wants to be the next owner of this magnificent property here at 1 17 Somerset Avenue in Oakley South? You know, I was talking to a neighbour just before and they said, Severus, you know there's two types of people in this world. People that live in Oakley, people that live in Oakley South. And especially in this part of Oakley South. In this part of Oakley South, which we're surrounded in such a beautiful neighbourhood. But I'll tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, I'll add to that, there are people that wish they lived in Oakley South. So today I'm giving you that opportunity to buy. Raise your hand and let it be known. So who's going to start me off? What can I say to get it going here today? I don't mind where we start. 850. 850, that's a great bid, sir. $850,000. Thank you for starting the bidding. It's a great bid, sir. It's a great area and you're confirming it. At $850,000. Oh, I should have said that earlier. You knew. Yes. See you guys. You, you know, the vendor is actually New Zealand and, uh, and that's a New Zealand wine. So that was his uh, choice of wines here today. So congratulations, sir. Now, we don't have a wine for the second place. But at, uh, at the moment, sir, you are in first place. The rest of you, you've just got the brochure. At uh, $850,000, I nearly scared you there. You nearly ran out the door. Eight hundred fifty is a bid looking for $25,000 rises. $850,000, i have got twenty-five to join in. It's that easy, that simple. Yes, no, mate. I should have a Mexican wave of hands right through the whole crowd. $850,000, I've got to pinch myself. $850,000. There's properties in the area. As many of you know, selling up, you know, 1.1, up to 1.2, and some of them in excess of 1.2. $850,000, it's a great bid. You're in the box seat, sir. 25 to join in. If you don't bid, you won't buy, ladies and gentlemen. You can't buy if you don't bid, you know that. That's how an auction works. But it's the start of an auction, and I look around, you know, people got their arms crossed, they look to the sky, I make eye contact and I look away. $850,000, 25, Yes, no, maybe. It's a great start. 25 is what I need. If you don't bid, ladies and gentlemen. 870. 25? Cover for 25. Come on, sir. Yeah. I did with a smile on my face. <laughs> did you get a coffee before? A donut? You grabbed a donut, didn't you? I, I don't drink I don't drink coffee. Oh, no, no. I was going to say, hopefully he said yes, I took a donut, so give me another five. But look, I'll take your 20, sir. Welcome to the bidding. Thank you for bidding. At 870 now, it's against you, sir. At 870, I've got 20 if you like again. At $870,000. It's with you, it's against you, it's open to you all. At $870,000, I've got 20 if you like. Yes, no, maybe. First call, can I say 20, sir? At 20, I've got 890, it's against you again, sir. At 890, 910 if you like. 890, I've got 910, sounds good. It's music to my ears. What do you say? I've got 900. Ah, oh, come 910. Come in for 910. Come on. At 900,000, can I say? Yep. You got it? Yep, at 900, I'll take another 10 if you like. 10 against you, 10 with you. How can I say 910 now? At 910, I've got, see, we got there anyway. At 910 I've got, it's over here, so it's against you. Can I say another 10 if you like? At 910 I've got. Yes? They say happy wife, happy life, sir. That's what they say, I don't know. My wife keeps telling me that, you know, she's the neck. I'm, I'm the head of the family. Have you heard that one before? But she can move the head any way she wants. You know, she always makes it my idea. We are Indians, so we can... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, got you, there. you got me there. Can I say 20? <laughs> 9, 10, I've got 20, can I say? 
Yes? Yep. At 20, I've got 20 back at you, man. <laughs> Sir, what, what do you think? 30? I'll call it three times. We get to the business end. You've already got the wine, you can celebrate in your own home. First call, second call, third and final call, at 40. That's a great bid, bold bid. It's a sign of strength, sir, at 940. Can I say 10? 10, come in for 10. You've been with me from the start. Come on, sir. You don't want to miss it now. You don't want to miss it now. We're nearly there. At eight hundred forty thousand dollars, first call, second call. Forty-one. Forty-one. I'm asking ten. I need a zero on the end. Can I say ten? I'll meet you halfway. How's five? Come for five. Nine forty-one. Five. Come for five. Is that a bit? <laughs> Dad's a little bit scared there. Five, sir. Two and a half. I, you got to give me two and a half. It's easier to count. 942, 500. Two and a half. Come on, sir. At two and a half. I think she said yes. At $940,000, we're all done. All silent. No further bids. Third call. At 940. No, I haven't taken your bid yet, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, give me one moment. I'm going to give you some thinking time. Have a chat, and when I come back, I want more than one, okay? I'll go quickly have a chat to my vendors. There won't be a moment, sir. Okay, thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. So the bid's with you at 940000 It's against you. You're happy. Oh, I was very happy to go inside and have a chat to my vendors. They have given me some brief instructions. But I was most happy that not everyone ate the donut. I get to have a donut after the auction, so that's good. So, can I say two and a half? You've had plenty of thinking time. Two and a half? Now, two things will happen. You'll either buy it under the hammer, or you'll have first right to negotiate with the vendors at the reserve price. It's your choice. I'll call it three times. The bid's over here at $940,000. First call, second call, third and final call, two and a half. Okay, yeah. At two and a half, 940, two and a half, and it's back at you now, sir. At two and a half, if you like. At two and a half, I've got. 945. At 45. Two and a half. 946. Oh, I'll take the one. 946. 47, 48, 48, 49, 50, at 50 I've got at $950,000 is the bid, 950 I've got, 950 it's back at you sir, we're in the hitting zone now, at $950,000, yes, no, one more, at one more can I say, at $950,000, you're about to miss out on your home, you've got a fallback plan, if you don't buy this one, you've got another one, yeah? No, there isn't anything else. 51. At 51, I've got two. Yeah. <coughs> at 
at 55. That's a strong bid. 55. One more. At 55, you're done. You're silent. At 9.55. We're all silent. All done. First call. Second call. Third and final call. Sir, another one. You're out. Third and final call. No further bids. At 955,000 is the bid. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if there's no further bid, I will be passing the property in and you will have first right to negotiate with the vendors. But ladies and gentlemen, once I go inside, we are negotiating together. So if you're here to bid, let it be known now. You're definitely out, sir. You're gone. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, sir, I will be passing the property in to the lovely couple in the middle here. Thank you for your bidding. Thank you for attending another O'Brien Real Estate Auction, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy your weekend, drive safe, and I hope you enjoyed your coffee. Thank you.